What's up guys, it's R13 and let's get started, shall we? So today we are reviewing the Carl Gustav or the Gustav Carl. Uh, this unit, uh, as I mentioned during my unboxing, uh, was released uh, early 2019 and with a price tag of around 2200 yen and remember price varies depending on location. This unit um, actually took me a good 2 hours and 40 minutes building this unit here and um, I did actually notice multiple things, uh, multiple issues uh, but before going with those issues let's talk about the overall design of this unit here. So uh, as you guys can see this unit here is actually quite thick lots of armor in the history line um, this has actually got more uh, improved performance than the Jagan and uh, this was actually built alongside the Jesta in a different type of factory in the storyline this unit you guys will notice it in the narrative Gundam movie uh, my suggestion is if you haven't watched it yet depending on your country um, go ahead and watch it. Currently here in North America, specifically Canada, there is no movie screening of the anti-Gundam sadly. But um, the Gundam Info, specifically Bandai, actually released the first 21 minutes of the series and this unit made an appearance. Now this one here is actually the Unicorn um, Gundam version and there are other variants out there. And I get the feeling that um, those other variants will probably be a P band I, I hate to say it there I said it okay so um, one of the few things that I actually do like about this unit is the lack of stickers I haven't used the stickers yet but so lack there's not a whole lot as you guys can see there I haven't even used it yet overall the detail and design is actually quite nice now um, there's gonna be some panel lining and there will definitely be some seam line removals and nub removal my advice is is actually be extra careful because of the knobs so many thick knobs and I'm actually gonna show you guys here right away okay the first part here is the leg area okay gonna give more light here hopefully it doesn't hit my camera okay you guys can see the knobs there yeah more knobs in the forearm here oops okay nubs in the shoulder and um, it's actually <laughs> tell you the truth it's actually not in well hidden places and um, there are certain areas that are hidden enough but there's just areas that are actually quite annoying and um, yeah for a 2019 kit uh, this actually the the Gustav Carl is actually haven for nubs and um, as for the seam lines there's not a whole lot and uh, let's see here if I can actually find more nubs here yeah actually you guys can actually notice it right away in specific areas so definitely this unit actually requires some uh, extra care and uh, good detailing and sanding there you have it now um, the other issues that actually this unit have is um, certain parts can easily be taken apart. That was easy actually. I just pulled that off easily. It's not even uh, stiff. And um, okay this is supposed to lock. I actually changed it earlier. This one here shouldn't have any issue. Yep it's solid. Now the other weakness this unit have is the waist area there you go this one here is actually not a ball joint as you guys can see there but the other part here is actually a ball joint underneath here right now it's actually quite hard I was having issues earlier but uh, looks like I managed to fix it but um, it's easily you can easily remove it so extra care now certain pieces like uh, this piece here falls off easily and um, the leg area here it's actually a ball joint inside and uh, there's some it's actually not that stiff and I'll actually show it to you guys here 
as you guys can see there's a poly cap there and uh, some stiffening is required but uh, this is lock okay so you do have certain um, stiffness issue there and um, well on the plus side this is actually this looks like actually got some uh, really good articulation as well which I'm actually gonna show you guys after I put this back together again okay for the articulation piece we'll start from top to bottom here and um, the head actually got a good uh, 360 degree here so you guys can see and um, the backpack here you actually got that uh, piece there but you can actually replace that piece with um, a different uh, part here to extend it as you guys can see in the picture and then um, for the backpack here the thrusters doesn't actually move uh, well kind of move okay just okay there we go and um, for the arms here now remember the arms are a little bit uh, you can remove it easily okay yeah but you can actually make this stiff uh, there's a trick to it uh, once I'm done with the articulation test here uh, see that's the main issue you're supposed to be able to lift certain parts here there you go but uh, since it's really not that solid it actually falls off and um, yeah and for the arms here it's actually double jointed which is actually quite nice okay and then for the waist and torso connector good mobility there as you guys can see but remember this is another weakness yeah there you go okay now that we got that out of the way yeah as you guys can see mm, I really just don't like that I'll fix that later but let's continue on with the articulation test here for the back skirt it actually moves <laughs> which is actually quite nice so there you go see that piece there and some details inside okay and it actually gets secure as well now for the side skirt here this is where um, the beam saver is located you can remove it easily and you can put it back and uh, let's just put this unit back together there we go and uh, sadly it doesn't move side to side but up and down now for the front skirt some uh, good articulation there okay now for the leg and um, waist connector there's a slot there for the action base very basic even this one here fits perfectly no issues and the ball joints is there so it can't actually well it can do a split since it's actually it's a different design frame there as you guys have already seen okay and um, for the legs here specifically that's how far it can go and for uh, the feet that's uh, the articulation there and certain pieces actually kind of fell off and the thrusters actually so actually we'll just fix that later it's not that visible unless you actually do it in certain posts okay so that is for the articulation test and um the details is actually quite nice um why don't we put the two pieces back together here okay be right back okay uh that took me a little bit longer than i expected um the other parts that this unit actually have on top of uh, this piece here is you get the um, a pair of uh, beam saver effect parts okay and um, a beam rifle or I believe this is a beam machine gun well it doesn't really matter it's a beam rifle I believe and then uh, for the extra parts you get a extra faceplate there that you actually don't need so you can toss this out or 
put it in your pile of recyclables. And um, the other uh, weaponries that this unit have here is um, the grenade launcher that is located at the left forearm there with that uh, special design. You get a pair of beam savers and um, and uh, what do you call that now? Uh, the Vulcan gun which is actually located at the left for, um, forehead here, left side of the forehead. It's really actually not that bad. In the other in the other uh, variants of this unit here, um, this uh, unit actually have both uh, Vulcan guns on each side, but this one here is uh, just uh, get a specific design frame. Okay, um, it's really not that bad. I can uh, there's some really good details here, um, but the, then this unit actually got a lot of nubs and seam lines and some loose parts, especially in the legs and the waist connector. So. Uh, the best way to actually fix that issue is okay, using a clear nail polish and you apply that on the specific joint area that you want to be stiff. And um, that's actually the best way. I've, tr I've actually tried this. Works really, really well. I actually got this at my local uh, dollar store for maybe about the buck. Yes. So that's actually the best way for any loose parts. This unit actually got a lot of potential, but then it comes with a couple of headaches. As I mentioned already, you get the nubs and the seam lines, which is all over the place. So proper sanding and care. Um, I just don't know why Bandai didn't actually do a proper job with the seam line, uh, with the nubs itself. It's not under gated and this, there's uh, seam lines as well. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating uh, in my opinion for me because uh, I got this uh, as a, after like before making this video literal literal on the same day I actually got I am the guy that um, actually got uh, uh, Gustav Carl in my uh, area the very first guy. It's really nice. Um, but like I said, there is potential for this unit. I can actually advise this as well because of the design frame. Now, there's one thing for me that I actually personally do not like that I'm actually planning on on uh, removing, and that is the fin. This is a an RGM line, so I'm removing the fin there um, because if there's uh, no eyes. <laughs> I just find it odd, but overall, I do like this kit. I'm gonna give this a 6.5 out of 10, and because of those issues, nubs, seam lines, and uh, and uh, certain loose parts, good articulation, and good mobility. Okay, um, that's all the time that I got, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to click that like button. Uh, subscribe button if you enjoy it if you don't like it uh, please leave it in the comment section what you do not like um, in this video in general but um, yeah I can actually advise this to intermediate uh, builders for 2019 kit hmm. yeah okay that's all the time that I got guys thank you guys for watching this is R13 have a good day good night afternoon wherever you are and remember have fun relax and enjoy that is Gunpla I'll see you guys in the next bit.